Hello Pioneers, it's Teresa here. I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use our collegecentral.com career portal. Now this is a service that we provide free to you here at the university and it is great for both alumni as well as current students on any of our campuses who may find themselves looking for a job. Whether you're just about to finish and graduate and you want to see what the big wild world out there has available for you or you're in a current career looking to move up or to relocate or maybe you're one of our military students or alums who are leaving active duty and going into a second career this portal will give you lots of great resources that you can use to, both for the job search side and things you need to prepare before you get there so I'm going to go over here and share my screen really quick so that you can see what I'm doing. And this is a great tool for you guys. I'm so excited for you to see it. So again, the website is collegecentral.com slash WBU. You can see that up in the corner here on my bar. When you pull that up, you'll see photos that look like Wayland and it even says Wayland and has our logo. So you'll know you're in the right place. When you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see three boxes, students, alumni, and employers. For the purposes of today, we want you to use alumni. Even if you're a current student, just use the alumni box because it's a much easier route for you. And you'll find that once you move into the alumni status, you'll still be able to use that and you won't have to change anything. When you go in here, it's going to ask you, if you've never done this before, it's going to ask you to create an account and just going to ask you a few simple questions. I've already done that, of course, so I'm just going to log in. I've chosen to use my email, but you can use anything you'd like as a user ID and password. It really doesn't matter for any reason to us. You're going to be the only ones who knows it and uses it, but make sure it's something you can remember or that you've written it down somewhere sacred. So you can get back in. Of course, if you forget, there's a forget your ID and password like most websites will offer you. Um, but create yourself an account. It's going to ask you just a few questions, um, some basic information like usual, and then you're going to be able to get into the portal. So when you log back on, like I just did, you're going to see this right here. This is sort of your dashboard. That's what they call it as a dashboard. And you're going to see down the left hand side a menu of lots of different things you can choose from to do right in here. You'll also see some main things in the middle and some things if there's an event going on that's coming up like a career fair or anything like that you're going to see those things pop up right here in the middle as well but right now we don't have anything planned so what you're seeing are the main options for folks so this is where you can go to search my school's jobs that simply means that we've had employers reach out specifically to us who want to post a job and hopefully help some of our pioneers find employment. We love that and we get that pretty often. So this is where you go to search jobs that have been specifically set apart for Wayland students. Now the second one is Job Central and the third one is Intern Central. And you're going to see that both of these are a national job board that have been created through the Indeed network. If you're familiar with Indeed.com, it's also a job search portal, but this is connected to it. It kind of goes up underneath it. So all the jobs that you would find on Indeed, you're gonna find here on this website as well. Um, so it gives you a great chance to look for things like um, jobs all over the country and internships all over the country. It's important to notice that the jobs that are done just for Wayland students don't necessarily just mean they're in Plainview or Albuquerque or San Antonio. They could be anywhere around the country. Um, we open it up to our alumni that if they work for a company that they're welcome to share any job postings from their company and help find other pioneers to join them in their jobs. So it's very likely that these could be around the country as well. So you want to check those out. Um, when you go down uh, a little further, you're going to see in the middle a media library. There's some amazing podcasts on here and I've seen a ton of different topics here from internships to interviews, cover letters, all sorts of quick little podcasts. Most of them are not very long. If you're really into podcasts and you like to like use your commute to do that or maybe just a little free time, these are some great ways to get a little great information about the job search process and other parts of it. There's also even things in here like personal branding, um, which I think are great observations for folks to look into. Professional development and workplace etiquette even. 
So things that are not necessarily directly related to the job search process, but might benefit you as a person in your career wanting to grow a little bit more. So again, you can always go back to your dashboard using that button at the top left corner. You're also going to find headlines, which is basically just more stories and things like that that are about different stuff related to jobs. You'll see right here one of the stories today is the friendships that develop in college. Um, those are, that's an interesting story that's a sideline to talk about networking, and so that's a great one to read as well. Lots of great things here that you'll be able to take advantage of. Videos as well, if you'd rather read some videos. There's a tips for job hunting, interview advice, lots of great things there that you're going to find. Then on the right hand side, you're going to see, again, announcements. And those are things that I might post specifically on events or other things coming up that you might be um, want to take an interest in. And then you're going to see a career document library. Things like cover letters. Let's say we want to understand here's a why a, why a cover letter. Um, there's great reasons for this kind of stuff, of course. So you're going to be able to click there and download these PDFs. This one's taking a minute today. I think my Wi-Fi may be slow. Uh, but here, here's why a cover letter, and it's just a simple one-page document that gives you some great information about that. If you're in a person who maybe works with students in schools and you need things like that, these are great little handouts because you can download or print out this one-page handout, um, and it's got some great information you can share as well. It's all right out there for the taking. So we'll go back to the website and you'll see there's lots of different things on here. Um, job seekers, lots of different um, tips here, a new grad roadmap, things that you need to know if you're brand new. Portfolios, mentoring, um, lots of great things that you can take advantage here. And of course your job search kit at the bottom has something on resumes, cover letters, and interviews. And those are great helps for you as well. The website actually also has a place where you can go and create a resume just from here. It's called Resume Builder. You'll find it right here, and it's a great way to just fill in the information you need and let it do a lot of the hard work for you. It's a good tool for you. Now you'll notice other things down here on the left-hand side, like my resumes. You can actually upload your resume to this jobs on this website that you think you might be interested in applying for, a lot of times it'll give you the opportunity to just upload the resume right there in the portal and you don't have to go and find another opportunity or place to do that. Word of warning, you need to make sure that your resume fits the job that you're applying for. We tell our students all the time, resume is not a one and done. Um, you really should have a good templated resume that you use as a, as a base but you need to be crafting that resume differently for different kind of jobs that may be in different industries or maybe a different position, but still use the same skill sets that you have. That's great. Your skill sets won't change, but you may want to highlight things that meet the job description for a job you're looking for. It's all about keeping that relevant to the employer so they see first offhand how much you fit with that job. So I take that, I say that to say you can upload several resumes here. Um, not just one, but to make sure that you're paying attention to what you're uploading. It also gives you the opportunity to upload a career portfolio, which may be more appropriate for people like graphic designers that have actual visual parts of their portfolio to show potential employers. Um, maybe you're a person who's done grant writing and you have examples of things you've written or writing in general. This is a great place to upload those things and then when you get ready to upload it to a job, application or to an uh, employer, you don't have to try to find all those pieces parts. They're right here in one place. And you can keep all that, of course, under your passworded account. Again, there are other events, programs, and announcements. And then a career mentoring network. Now, the career mentoring network is neat because you can search for different mentors that may be working in a field that you want to work in, or maybe even just working for an employer that you would like to work for. And those are people that you can seek out who might be able to give you some advice. Sometimes that may look like a one-time email conversation, maybe a one-time Zoom meetup or a phone call to give you some good advice on how to get into those fields. And sometimes it may turn into a longer relationship and that really 
is up to the two of you. Um, we want things obviously to be on the up and up and networking is an important part of the job search. That's why we want to connect you as students with our alumni and vice versa for the both benefit uh, from that relationship. But you do want to make sure that it's something that both of you are comfortable with and you're keeping up with both sides of that conversation. Uh, this website will keep up with job search history and you can even report offers or hires that you've received through here and then create yourself a base of contacts. If there's other people that you wanna reach out to, maybe people have said, I work in HR at a certain company and I'll be glad to be a contact for you. You can save their information there so that it's all in one great place. That's the beauty of it. If you'll see up here in the corner, it says that you can get the app. There is a College Central app that you can add to your tablet or your smartphone. And then you can get in there and do all these same things from your phone or your tablet. So if you're one of those people who loves to listen to podcasts, you might prefer to do it through the app on your phone while you're doing a commute or maybe making some, running some errands around town. Um, it's a little easier to get to that way, but there is the opportunity with a link there to get the app. So I wanna make sure you know that there's some great resources out here, like I mentioned, resumes, jobs, salary, even self-branding, some great resources here to read up on. Maybe you're not in the job hunt right this minute, but you know someone who is. There's some great advice you can share with others. Maybe you find yourself in the job hunt and you didn't really expect to be, and maybe it's been a while and you need a refresher on resumes and cover letters. This is a great resource for you. And remember, it's provided as a service through our office, and we're so thrilled to be able to do that and to help you on your career path. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a minute and just say to you, best of luck. We wish you the very best. I hope you'll take advantage of this great career tool. I hope you'll also take advantage of other things our office and the Career Services Office can provide for you. We are one in the same and we're here to help you in any way that we can. If we can help you through Zoom interviews, uh, mock interviews or reading over a resume and help for you, we are happy to do any of those things that might help you get that great next job that you need and want. We're here for you and we hope that you'll take advantage of these great, great resources that are free to you as a pioneer. Have a great day and best to you all.